So last Friday, Daredevil dropped on Netflix. I am not going to talk about that. Sorry, if you want a short review, I started watching it. I'm about halfway through the series. Go see it. It's really good. Okay, moving on. This week I'm going to try something new. Batman v Superman comes out this Thursday. So, I'm going to try this. I'm going to take clips from the trailers, and I'm going to try and piece together what this movie is. What it's about, what the plot is, and what's going to happen and when. Here we go. I actually had to do research for this episode. The story starts out with the events of Man of Steel being recapped through the eyes of Bruce Wayne, with the Wayne Enterprises sign stuff and that thing. It then cuts to several years later, when Superman is saving a rocket and saving people from hurricanes or whatever this scene is, and intercut with Batman doing things his way, beating the crap out of criminals, doing whatever it is he does in Gotham. So, then Superman goes to this court case, the People vs. Superman, with Senator Finch. The court case is going fine until Lex Luthor stands up and start make, starts making points against Superman, who he hates. We don't know why yet. The court case ends with Superman flying off, or, well, I don't know, leaving in a huff, I guess the term might be. But it then goes to later, while Clark Kent is at a gala interviewing famous people. Guess who walks in? Bruce Wayne. They then have this little snippet of dialogue that's in all the trailers for some reason. Lex Luthor comes in, and here, we don't, I mean, Bruce Wayne doesn't realize this, but we do. Lex Luthor drugs him. This will come into play a little bit later in the next scene. At the party, Bruce Wayne then runs into Diana Prince, and everything goes well between them. They seem very friendly until he realizes that she is working for Lex Luthor, and curtly leaves. Politely, of course. That night, when Bruce Wayne is Batmaning it up, he s defeats a room full of thugs or whatever, and then collapses in pain. His head is aching like nobody's business, and he goes into unconsciousness. There he has a terrible nightmare of Superman being one of the many uh, drones of apocalypse, and all this weird stuff happens, and yeah, that stuff happens. This gets Batman really scared, and makes him sure, positive, that he needs to take down Superman, just in case. He then goes back to the Batcave and has an argument with Alfred over this. Yeah, that's... I don't know. Alfred's a, Alfred's really young in this movie. Jeremy Irons is a great actor, but still, he's really young. The same night, or maybe a few nights later, I don't know. I don't really care either. Uh, you see Lex Luthor unzipping the corpse of Zod. Stealing it and, you know, doing whatever he wants with it. Okay, that sounded kind of dirty. It sounded a lot better in my head. Shut up. The internet's a weird place. So, we see he's sending it through tests and doing strange things to it. Again, with the whole sounding better in my head. He doesn't know it yet, and neither do Batman or Superman, but he's creating Doomsday, who will show up later in the film as the main antagonist. Later that night, or again, maybe a different one, I don't know, I keep saying stuff like this. Superman is flying around Gotham. He had an argument with Bruce Wayne earlier in the week, or maybe it was earlier in the day, depending on when you want to say, but he had an argument with Bruce Wayne, and that got him to thinking about Batman and what he's been doing. He watches Batman from afar and sees him branding criminals and beating their teeth in and breaking bones and almost killing them. And all he can think is, this man has to be stopped. So, what does he do? Well, when Batman's driving around, Superman drops in front of him, and Batman crashes. And Batman asks, do you bleed? And Superman just flies off, and Batman's like, you will! Yeah, Superman's kind of a prick in this universe. After this is done, we cut to a scene where Batman is talking to Lex Luthor, and Batman appears to have broken in. Luthor tells him that well, he's working on something, and he's been researching Superman. And Batman wonders if there are any weaknesses. Luther tells him that, of course there are, everyone has weaknesses. And he tells him about 
fragments of the planet Superman came from. Batman decides to track these down, which leads him to China, where he discovers that an armed gang is waiting for him, possibly an ambush by someone. Batman gets the kryptonite, which it obviously is, because what other weaknesses does Superman have besides magic and red sun radiation? Also, being pummeled to death. But we then continue to Batman going home, in which he gets in an argument with Alfred about whether or not Superman is the enemy, and Batman questions his morality by looking into the soup, reflecting something, if only we knew what. Lois Lane, being true to her form, finds out that Lex Luthor is conducting experiments on Zod's corpse and creating Doomsday. She then goes outside to tell Lex who is on the roof waiting for Superman to show up for some reason. She's talking to Luther when Luther gives his uh, too big for little mind speech, and then Superman comes down because he has a bone to pick with Lex. And uh, Lex says some things that really piss Superman off, but before Superman can hit him, Lex says something about organizing gladiator matches, and Superman doesn't know what he means until the Batwing flies by and drops Batman in a mech suit out of it. This leads to the Batman and Superman fight of the title. The fight initially starts off in Superman's favor with him easily beating Batman, until, well, Batman pulls out the kryptonite and starts beating him. This happens for a bit until Superman finds a way to beat the kryptonite and he rips off Batman's power armor, wishing to end the fight. Batman escapes in the Batmobile and Doomsday appears out of nowhere, sent by Lex Luthor to exterminate both enemies. Wonder Woman comes in to save Batman, and a fight scene ensues in which Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman defeat Doomsday. They then go after Lex Luthor, who, and you can choose two options here, either A, they take him down, arrest him, and this is the end of the movie, or B, he gets power armor and another fight scene ensues. Either way, the end of the movie comes, it's a happy ending, and Justice League is hinted at. Well, that's about it. Oh, also, if you're wondering about the cameos from Cyborg and Aquaman and Flash, they're probably going to be in there somewhere. Aquaman is going to be at the very end, it'll be a post credit scene. Flash is going to be somewhere in Luther's laboratory, and Cyborg is going to be a technician at Luther's building. That's about it. See you guys later. Hi, I'm just going to do a little bit at the end of the video to say that um, I just want to say Batman v Superman hasn't come out yet. I This is all conjecture. I'm just piecing together the trailers, and next week I will do a Batman v Superman review and a Daredevil Netflix TV show review. Uh, it looks like a fun episode. This one ran a little long, but I hope you like it. Thanks. Bye.